Welcome back to another edition of Hometown Heroes on Family Life. I'm Mark Webster, and this week's guest is Andrea Whitmer of Mercy Run Ministry in Mifflinburg, Pennsylvania, aiding prisoners and victims of the sex industry. We actually started in March of 2016 by starting to do prison ministry um, for some of the state correctional facilities for women. And we went in and worked with a mom who was incarcerated who needed help taking care of her baby while she was finishing her sentence. And that kind of started the ball rolling for what Yahweh designed this whole ministry to be. Long story shorter, we ended up getting to adopt her son. She had asked us to adopt him. We've had him since day one, and he's actually six now. And so I met a lot of women that were in the prison and incarcerated for a variety of reasons. And so when this mom um, was actually released... I just felt that the ministry didn't need to stop there. And so I started looking into different things that I could do to help women that were incarcerated, perhaps for prostitution, drugs. And it led me down a rabbit hole that brought me to some articles about women going into adult clubs, taking meals, meeting with the women that were working in that industry. And I thought to myself, wow, this is not anything that I've learned, you know, in any of the women's ministries that I've ever taken part of, you know, throughout my adult life. Right. But I prayed about it, spoke with my husband, because I thought, you know, this is not a ministry people are probably going to be comfortable with. But he said, you know what, it's more important to do what Yahweh says versus people's opinions. So he was all in. And I went into the first adult industry club and I asked the manager if I would be able to come in and bring meals and see if the women had needs, like if they had children, you know, did they need to diapers, wipes. Oddly enough, he even said he didn't know why he was saying yes, but he agreed. And that's where it just started for the Mercy Run ministry. We went in and we started taking food, um, meeting the needs of the women that were there. And then very quickly, we realized here's another part. A lot of these women don't want to be here. And that opened up the door to what we're doing now. And that was to get them out of the adult industry. Your Facebook page says we help those in enslaved in the adult sex industry. It's a strong word, but it's it's accurate, isn't it? It is accurate. And sometimes people, when they think about trafficking or the adult industry, they think of someone shackled, you know, in physical chains that they can't run from. But what we have found to be true is the invisible chains, the trauma, the abuse, the fatherless homes, the addiction issues. Those invisible chains are often a lot stronger than any physical chains. That's what we're we're just trying to help them see is that you can break free from that. And the other thing that we've learned is that a lot of the times, and even you know myself in my own life when I was younger, we defined our worth and value in what the world said about us. But once we break free of that kind of thinking and we decide to find our worth and value in Him, that's when everything changes. And we see that time and time again with the women that we have the privilege to serve. When you originally got into this ministry, yeah, it was a bit uncomfortable. Yes, it's messy. But that's kind of where, I mean, Jesus had plenty of examples of this too in his time on earth where ministry is messy. It is messy. And, you know, sometimes, like I said, sometimes people aren't very comfortable with the ministry that we do. And I can understand that. You know, it wasn't always and isn't always very comfortable for me and our family to do. But what we realized is that when he has called us to do something, the best way to respond is with obedience. And that's what we've chosen to do through the last seven years. Sometimes I don't feel equipped. I'm not a professional. You know, I may not have what other people have, you know, to work against this industry. But what I do have is someone that I serve that's powerful, that can break those chains, that can give that hope. And all I have to do is be obedient, which we choose to do every day with the ministry and even in our own personal lives. I just think that if we can have the eyes to see these individuals as Yahweh truly sees them, I think that's what's going to make the difference because oftentimes we want to put labels on people or we want to dismiss them because we're uncomfortable with what we view as their sin. And so I think the more awareness we can bring to this industry and this ministry, 
it will help others be able just to take part, to take a hold, and help reach more women, children, and the men we serve. That's Andrea Whitmer of Mercy Run Ministry in Mifflinburg, Pennsylvania, aiding prisoners and victims of the sex industry. Please join us again next week as we search for your home, your town, your hero. Thank you for plugging into this Family Life News podcast, streaming issues-driven, family-focused news.